All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And today we're gonna be opening up a hobby box of 23-24 Opeachy. On the hunt for Connor Bedard rookies. So it's been a minute since I posted on the RTH card channel, but we're back because, you know, Connor Bedard. Not much more to say. But to be completely honest, guys, to make it short, I just feel like the recent releases from Upper Deck have just been a slap to the face of everyone in the hobby. The prices are going up, the quality seems to be going down, like what is going on, and I just can't support that. With that being said, Connor Bedard changes the story here. So let's crack this open. But also here's the thing, I actually make my own boxes and just recently, we released the Connor McDavid Collector's Box, where I try to provide the best value you can buy with your money. The most recent release includes the chances of pulling a 2015-2016 Series 110. You know, Connor McDavid, potential Connor McDavid. We also have McDavid Autos, Pedersen Autos, so many great cards. So check it out down below. The last release sold a lot faster than I thought. Thank you guys so much. But let's get into this, oh my goodness. Hopefully, we can see a Bedard. Luke Hughes, okay. Oh, okay, that, that got me. Two out of 75, Luke Hughes. Also, I smashed my thumb on a log cutting wood. That's why it looks all busted. But when it comes to offensive defensemen, you know, guys like Quinn Hughes or Luke Hughes, it can be tough for guys like this to become high-end players. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look at a guy like Tyson Berry, the guy produces really well offensively. However, he is a pylon defensively. So if you're gonna be more offensive oriented and maintain a lot of value, you know, provide a lot of value to your team, you either need to be producing at a super high level or have a two-way game. With that being said, I've been watching more Devils games and Luke Hughes looks legit, so I'll take that. Unfortunately, I actually picked up a bunch of boxes of this stuff while it was still cheap. It's already gone up like, 50, 60 bucks, depending on where you get it. Pretty crazy. Nikita Kucherov, Opichi Premier. But Opichi is always one of my favorite products, so can't go wrong, especially when it was like 110 bucks, I think I paid. Come on, Bedsies. Okay, so I'm wondering if I, because I got that Luke Hughes, not gonna complain about that. If it's not Bedard, if that was Bedard, I don't even know what that would sell for. A lot of money, I'm gonna guess. A lot of moolah. Timothy Lilligren, black border, out of 100, nice. Okay. Nick Foligno, okay. We know why we're here. Devin Levi, okay, that's a decent one. Could have a huge future, Buffalo's not doing too, too hot. Nick Cousins, oh my goodness, Nick Cousins. This guy is so embarrassing, like, is that numbered? Okay, good. I don't want no numbered Nick Cousins. Give me anything else. The turtle. We got the turtle. Also guys, you probably noticed I didn't even mention it, but I moved. I have a fireplace. That's why I got that busted thumb. Don't look at it, I'm sorry, it's disgusting. Sheldon dries, blue. I'm actually gonna guess that Luke Hughes. I actually don't even know what the market is going for right now for Luke Hughes. That actually might be a huge pull. Cole Gutman again. The, I saw the Blackhawks logo. Cole Gutman, man. Ah, Ryan Lindgren. Hamnick. Also, guys, um, you can also pull a box. I'm, I'm gonna include some 23-24 Opichi. I just realized I didn't even explain what my release is. But basically, every single collector's box comes with a guaranteed hit. I tried to include guaranteed value no matter what. Again, you have chances of pulling this bad boy. I actually have a, several of these, so that'll be a nice hit. And the main chase card is this just insanely beautiful D Cup McDavid Auto. Seven out of 25. That is so much better odds than anything that Upper Deck has to offer. And when you factor in, you can pull one of these guys, maybe, alongside of a bunch of other great cards. I think it's a great value. So if you want to support the channel, definitely check that out. Austin Matthews, Ace of Ace of Diamonds. It's gotta have some value. How are you gonna give me two Blackhawks Marky rookies? And not one of them is Bedard. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm trying to be really careful. In case there is a number Bedard or something. Something. Lucas Raymond, 
PT Premier. Nice. It's a nice looking card. Got that little red color match. Brock Faber. The second Charlie McAvoy. This guy is looking so good. The Wild really found a diamond here with Brock Faber. You know, right-handed shot, top pairing defenseman. He can play huge minutes, shut down any line. He's producing. Like, what more could you want with like a building block player? Fraser Minton, rookie. Okay. Every pack has a couple card odds of pulling up. But Dart. How many packs we got here? We got six packs left. Will one of them have a Bedard? Cole Caulfield, okay. He's gotta be worth something, right? Bobby, Bobby McMahon, this guy is on fire. My dad would call me Bob growing up. Hey, Bob. Do your damn chores, Bob. Do your damn chores. Ovechkin, oh my goodness, this man has fallen off. Whoa, what is this? Marky Rookie out of 350. Again, that's Bedard. I mean, we can say that about any card. That's huge. Man, Opeaches is such a good product. Like, especially when you have like Rookie Bedard numbered card upside. And again, when this came out, what was it? I think I found it for 110 bucks. Bought a bunch, can't go wrong. Even at, the, even at its uh, current price point. Carter Hart. Potential fell in there. It's just a good value product. Like, hands down, Opeachy's, Opeachy Hobbies is the best value product here. Okay, we're still waiting on Bedard. We got a Jack Eichel, diamonds, hearts, I mean. Come on! I really don't want to open up more of this stuff. I want to hold on to it. It's like my little, my little treasures. Kurashev, blue. Jonathan Duran, no marquee rookie? Okay. Okay, Clinton Keller. Oh, Matthew Nyes, blue, marquee rookie, okay. Okay, so no Bedard in this one. We'll open up one more box. Just took a look on eBay. We got our last price sold on this Hughes for 54 and 75 bucks. That's not bad. That's not who we want. We are looking for Bedard. Barkoff, 2023 All-Stars. Out of 350, okay. JT Miller. Okay, let's just get to the good stuff. Gabe Velarde, he's doing so well on Winnipeg. Oh my goodness, Dubois. Oh um, my, nothing else to say, oh my goodness. That man got paid. Lipson Cowley has a full, well, 10 team, no movement clause, and is just living out his best days with very little effort. Will Cooley, Cooley, Will Cooley. Dawson Mercer Blue, okay. Benoit. Got another Faber. We got two Fabers and no Bedard. Does that make sense to you? Red Marky Rookie of Silovs for Vancouver. This guy could be good and he'd be going into a great environment. I always think that when a, when a good rookie is coming in, yes, you can throw him to the fire and they might develop, but I think from past developmental stories, the best path is having a solid number one mentor and slowly easing in that young prospect into the lineup. Okay, Trevor Zegras, Spades, McDonough, Marky Rookie, David Gust again. David Gust, <sighs> Jack Eichel, Premier, Bobby Mc... Is this rigged? How are we getting duplicates of everything but Bedard? Is this rigged right now? What do you guys think? It's okay, we got a bunch of chances left. Worst case, Ontario, I got a bunch more boxes. We'll see. Whoa. We got a preview of a marquee rookie of Askarov, and this man is on fire right now in the AHL. A cosmic preview. Cosmics are actually my, maybe, at least top five card design. That is a beauty in a preview, wow. Jamie Bien. Couture, is he, is he our good luck charm? Fantilly, not bad, not bad. First time seeing ya, but we're looking for bed Z's. Again, I, I have no expectations of pulling a uh, number Bedard card, but just a base marquee rookie would be nice, you know? That'd be all right. Anthony Mantha. 
Grubauer. Okay. Got Luke Hughes, though. That's a beauty. Okay, we got your check. Peak. Corrali. Okay, let's circuit share black out of 100. So we actually got very lucky with that first box because we got two out of three rookies for our numbered cards. We got five more packs in this box, and I guess we'll see. Pareko. Okay. Ooh, Sean Farrell. Oh my. <laughs> David Gust. David. 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 So I pulled, I think, four marquee rookies of Blackhawks players. Just not the right player, you know? Devon Levi. Okay, we're just getting... Ooh. Got a blue of a meal. Andre. David! Get out of here. Whoa, what? So we got an Eastern... I'm gonna guess manufactured patch. You ever see a trading card with a manufactured hockey patch? Wow. Until 1993-94, the Eastern Conference was known as the Prince of Wales Conference. Got that old school Eastern. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll give you that. Guess I'll give you that. That's pretty epic. Okay. Okay, Betsy. Are you in this pack, sir? Ma'am? Sir? Sir? Tim Stutzla? Okay, Sorokin. Getting some nice pulls. Last pack of the second box, but just none of them are Bedard. Just none of them. Okay, this is the pack. Closing my eyes. Okay, this should be the hit. Backstrom. Okay, one more box. Guess we'll see what we can get. Okay, third box of the video. All right, I've been going for a while now, so I'm probably just gonna speed around this. Got another numbered marquee rookie. 350, Yuri Patera. Not bad, and right at the end here, we'll do a recap. Come on, Betsy's. Come on. Sean Farrell, blue, marquee rookie. Okay. Michael Bunting, again. Oh my goodness. This is our fifth Blackhawk. <laughs> you can't make it up. You just can't make it up. Okay, Matt Murray. There's another Matt Murray, that's not good. I think one Matt Murray in the league is, is enough. All right guys, I have no clue how this happened. I am such a dummy, but somehow, and maybe it's in the film, I haven't edited the video yet. As I was sorting the on my bulk here, I just realized that we did pull a Bedard Marquee Rookie, and this card is in mint condition. Perfect centering. Oh my goodness, I am such a dummy. Let's go. This makes this pack opening so much better on top of the Hughes. That Askarov preview. Let's go. Our first Bedard Rookie. Wow. Boone Jenner, black, out of 100. Number three, okay. Johnny T, Premier, Kill My Car. Okay, we got a Luke Evangelista with a messed up top. Premier rookie. One of those is a Bedard. Would be real nice. Now that would be real nice. Okay. Victor Oreo. Emil Andre. Could you imagine if I just pulled one? I'm just speed bagging it. Just don't look. Can you imagine? Dakota Joshua, though. My goodness, he's helped Vancouver so much. I can't even remember the last time Vancouver's had like that power forward in the bottom six. You can score goals, PK, kind of do everything. Lexi Lafreniere, Matthew Nyes again. Our billionth Na Matthew Nyes. I actually wonder if they do lower the rates of Bedard for something like this, kind of keep the market. Put those cards higher? Is that a thing? I assumed that it would be not that hard to pull one. Jack Hughes, Van Riemsdyk, okay. All right, let's go over some of the main pulls here and I might do another video later on with the rest of the boxes here. So we got a marquee rookie numbered out of 350 of Patera. Got this Eastern Conference patch, okay. Sean Farrell, rookie. Mikhail Sergachev out of 100. 
Yaroslav Askarov preview. That's a sick one. Cosmic preview. Mark Stone. Matthew Nice Blue. This guy. Out of 350, we got a Bergren. Out of 49. Oh. Devon Levi, Liljegren, and our top hole was a Luke Hughes. Two out of 75, not bad.